Most women are more attracted to a geek than a tough guy. True or false? What do you think, Catherine? I think we want the same thing men want. It's like a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. I want, like, a sister. <laughs> Sorry, what was that that we want? A, la a lady in the streets? You don't even know what you want? Men. <laughs> men want... No, I think you've just nailed exactly what I want. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> A lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Yes. I want the opposite. Really? I want someone that will go straight off to sleep and then be mental in the street. I want them now. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, because men sort of want a, a woman who can cook and clean and look after the children. That's it, really. <laughs> uh, read the question, it's tough, yeah. guy. And here's why I think, right? Because yeah. if you are nice all the time, then the lady will notice when you are not nice. So if you bring a lady flowers every day and then one day you forget, she'll be like, where's my friggin' flowers? Yeah. <laughs> if you're an arsehole, then all you've got to do is not be an arsehole for a, for day. a day. And she's like, oh, Steve's really trying. <laughs> I don't think he's stolen from my purse this week. <laughs> every now and then I, I forget to take down an Abbey for my wife just to <laughs> let her know he's in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most important thing a woman wants in a man, you know, is, is where he puts towels. That seems to be an obsession. <laughs> so you guys know about the towel thing. But I don't understand it. It's a sign. Oh, now, now I've become the woman in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean It's now? not about the towel, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. what the towel represents. Do you know what it says to me, Sean? You've got out of the shower and you thought, yeah, I'll let John get that towel. You're doing in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Picking your towels up, that's what I'm doing, young man. <laughs> but no, the towel is just a, it's a very visible, wet, stinking gesture that says, <laughs> don't care where that goes. <laughs> but the towel... not, John, I'm not talking about leaving towels. No, I, I'm at a totally different level. I'm there and they're not on the, the, in the right place. You just hang them up somewhere, but oh. like a door. Just hang it over a door, yeah. like that. <laughs> like a little flag, like a symbol. I'm, I'm not... Sean's in um... that room, probably. Mm. Oh, well, he's been in there recently. I've made it. <laughs> it's worse, though, hanging it on a door, cos that says, I understand the process of hanging this up. I just choose to put it somewhere it's gonna piss you off. <laughs> let's, let's, get, let's get back to tough guys versus geeks. Let's take a look at uh, an example of a tough guy, an example of a geek. OK, so we've got there Jason Statham, tough guy, Ugh. and Brian Cox, who's kind of the geek's geek. Oh, gimme Cox, definitely. Yeah, but say... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some answers on this. So, most women are more attracted to a geek than a tough guy. True or false? What are you going to go for? I don't know. You, you, you're a lady. You decide. I think a good woman is attracted to a geek. I think most women are attracted to a tough guy. So, you're going good false. Answer. You're saying most, most women are attracted to a tough false. guy. What, what are you going to go for, John? No, I, I think young women are attracted to tough men, but the minute they grow up a little bit and realise the mortgage has got to be paid, yeah. and, <laughs> you know, the kids have got to be walked and all that, they come round the and they go... The kids have got to be walked? <laughs> You know, like their pets. Yeah. <laughs> Tried sending him out on his own and he stops at the end of the path. And I go, go on. <laughs> and he goes, I'm only six, and I go. <laughs> and he goes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, I would say that most women go for the geeky guy eventually. I think you're right, Mickey. John, what do you think? I don't care what you think, because I'm a tough guy. <laughs> it's false. OK, I can tell you the answer is false. 56% of women are more attractive to tough guys. <laughs> Top way Brits break the law. I sometimes do something that's a bit naughty. I think other people do it as well. What I do is I'll record an episode of The Sopranos and then watch it before the watershed. Swearing in the afternoon. <laughs> I'll leave the windows open so school kids can hear them. <laughs> I feel so bad. I think when the main one is because uh, the the British penchant uh, <laughs> for urinating in public is quite big. I was on a tube train the other day. A tube a train. A tube train, and a man had a piss in the corner. <laughs> and typical British. We were we were like. <laughs> and then he got off at the next stop and I had to break the silence. I said, thank God he didn't need a shit. <laughs> it's a 
so much easier for guys cos you can pee wherever you want. So where, where's the worst place you've peed? OK. Come on, tell the truth. OK, I was <laughs> drunk in a taxi and I needed to pee really, really bad and I peed on the floor of the taxi and then paid him and got out. You, you Kelly, let me tell you, that's not a crime, that's a website. <laughs> No, I, I think it's something to do with traffic, actually. I think it's a car thing. I, I think it might be using, using your hazard lights incorrectly, because most people think that they can put, them, put the hazard lights on and do anything, and just pull up on a double yellow line and get the dry cleaning, or, <laughs> I mean, I, or go drunk driving, and, and you get pulled up there. Do you realise you've got your hazard lights on? I do, uh, because I'm drunk, obviously. Because <laughs> I had to warn everyone, I'm very drunk. <laughs> Actually, I would like to have hazard lights on my epaulets. <laughs> Just go, if I decide to do something wrong, I put hazard lights on and everyone's <laughs> warned about it, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a shit on the tube, ladies and gentlemen. And it's fine. Mm. I sometimes, I know I shouldn't admit this, but sometimes um, I only have four a day. <laughs> yeah. You break your own rule. And then other days I have 80. <laughs> you don't want to be around then. Top way, Brits, break the law. Mobile. You do it in the car. Mobile phone, phone driving. Oh, uh, no, it's not a crime. Right. Yeah, it is. I got off. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw an ambulance man the other day on his mobile. That's proper attitude, did it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing about. Nah. I'll try to create a bit of work, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speeding. That is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs>